evening everyone. So I've had some interesting news today. A, a, I kind of I knew him as not really a friend, but somebody more than just an acquaintance that I know is selling one of his 395 XPs. So I have made an offer and I'm hoping I've never had a 395 XP, so I'm a little bit excited to see whether or not that saw comes my way. And if she does, I'm going to make some room for her and put up the one of my 285 CDs for sale. So, but I'll only list her if the 395 comes in. But I thought you know I'll take the chance to to show people one of my 285s. There's only one of two I have, and. Spectacular saws, mid to late 70s, these were launched. Thumper piston, 52 mil piston, 40 mil stroke, so 85 cc's, real power, powerhouse, spectacular. And so this girl is currently running, I say currently, so this girl has currently got on, I think that's my 20 inch bar. Yep. Yep, that's a 20. And I also have in my other workshop I have a I have a 30 inch bar as well. So depending when the time comes, it could either go with or or with both. So um, so this one's running nearly a brand new full chisel chain as well. I've only cut through a couple of times since I put this chain on. And they're just spectacular engines. Absolutely spectacular. I might run out of light. I was going to show it back to back there in the background. May have been one of her competitors in the day. So that's the John Seed 80. Um, same piston, 52, 38 mil stroke, 40 mil stroke. So nominal 80, nominal 85, but 70s and 80s power saw. Again, same for this. And actually, it'd be interesting to hear what people think about these two models as to whether or not they think one has the, the edge over the other. I've always been a huge fan of the John Seard. So anyway, I'll, um, obviously unbraked, braked engine. And so what does she have which is worth knowing about? Um, well, she's had a, a dreadful repair on the exhaust, but you know, it doesn't blow and it's got a very good gasket on it. So it's, the exhaust is not in great shape, but is um, still baffling really, really well. And it has a tiny piece missing on the inside edge here where the bottom of the felling spike would attach and a tiny crack on the, the top cover other than that she's she's make sure that ignition switch is off it's got fantastic compression and she may not even need any throttle lock because it's just a thumper <laughs> Simply spectacular. And let me show you how she cuts. If I get time, I have to fuel the Johnson. If I get time, I'll come back out. I'll fuel the Johnson, and we'll we'll cut her on the same wood. So we've got some. 17, 18 inch larch. Really interesting to see just to show you just what a saw like this performs like. Incredible is the answer. <laughs> annihilators so oh, I checked the air filter earlier and I didn't, uh, didn't tighten the screw back up so if 
you've seen my video the other day of something like the skill saw running or the 266 that would be a really interesting time comparison but I have a feeling that this is why well, massively quicker I'll just grab a screwdriver Take one more disc because it's just she's so addictive to use. It's an amazing, amazing engine. Why they simply are staggering. I um, it's strange when you sometimes come back to saws that you haven't run for a couple of weeks, you can forget just the power difference between uh, something. I mean, they're still great engines, the 266s are great, and so something like the skill saw is fresh in my mind because that's running a just under a 52 mil piston, so the same as this, but so. 8 mil shorter on the stroke, but the power difference is absolutely massive. So there she is, that's the, the incredibly impressive 285 CD. Just gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Now, as long as you can look past the... It's not for lack of trying either, I've tried to get um, a, a really nice exhaust, but the only ones I've seen have been kind of rotten at the front, but... So other than the exhaust and this little break here, two tiny little cracks on the um, the back top cover, but the tank, poor housing, chain brake, all spectacular and running just beautifully. <laughs> interesting so that's the uh, the incredibly impressive performance of the 285 so I'm hoping if the the 395 comes my way it would be really interesting as well for me to see just what the extra performance increase is if it's that noticeable or you know a few people I know now that run the 285s they say that this could literally be the only saw they'd ever use or need um, I think it would be barring it down to put it down to a 15 or a 16, but I've seen them with a 16 on. So, but with a 20, you feel like you've cut anything. Stay safe, guys. Bye for now.